Hi! Today we're going to be talking about goose feathers. Um, this video is going to come in three short parts. The first part is, rec is regarding talking about the feathers and also about how to recognise the left and the right wing and it's quite a simple process. The second one will be regards on um, one method of how to strip the feather to bring it down ready as a fletching and the third part is another method of um, cutting the goose feather down to shape so stay tuned see you in a minute right so the goose feather to recognize how to the difference between the left and the right wing it's quite a simple process I'll turn this around so for my end this is left and this is right so what you do you don't have to have loads of feathers um, to do this but you just get them as though they are on the wing of the bird so if you imagine that's attached to the bird so that would be left and that would be right where they see how they sit on the bird and what you need for these feathers is the primary wing okay um, because they are the best part for the flight of the uh, bird when it's flying um, and I got these feathers I didn't pay a penny for these um, I have uh, a place where I go and pick them up from a live from live birds they're from different birds um, but they're live and um, I'm not going to tell you though it's my secret stash <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, you want the larger size feathers, okay? I could probably get about two fletchings out of these, but usually people get about one if they're doing the larger size fletchings for the medieval arrows. Um, yeah, so I'm really fascinated by goose feathers because of people, what they say of their superiority. They come in two colours. These are the traditional color of the bird from the medieval times from what I've read so far and you also can get the white ones um, from another goose um, so there you go but, and it's also important that when you're going to be fletching with your arrows um, with your feathers is you make sure they come from the same side of the wing you can't use on um, your fletchings, two right wing, one left wing. Um, it's all to do with the the gravity on how it twists as the arrow is going. So keep them, if you're going to have three or four fletchings, make sure they're from either the left or the right wing. Okay, um, so there we go. So um, I'll see you in part two. Thank you for watching and to watch the other parts of this three part mini series, just click on the videos here or click on the links in the description box below. Take care for now. Bye.